Now, listen, you guys, it looks like Nicki Minaj was out there basically previewing Pink Friday 2 material. And uh, at the same time, you guys, the Transformer allegedly is going to be collaborating with Shakira. And uh, there are allegations that, well, Lottery's boyfriend, or I don't know what you want to call him, has a habit of uh, basically collaborating with a male rapper or a rapper and basically passing them on uh, you know to their alleged girlfriend who is lottery and uh flo mill is out there letting us know that she now has an outer ego and uh megan the stallion was crying about being invited to perform at the beyonce concept okay concert okay hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you're doing great Personally, I am doing great, you guys. I'm doing amazing. And uh, without further ado, let us dive straight into today's tea. Now, first of all, I would like to say happy birthday, you guys, to Goddess Star. Happy birthday, you guys. Just do hope into the comment section and uh, drop a happy birthday message. She is one of that. Enjoy your day and may the Lord continue watching over you and increasing your territory. Now, back to the tea, you guys. We are going to be talking about the snippet that Nicki Minaj decided to post on her Twitter. Now, I'm just going to insert that clip, you guys, at the background was Big Difference uh, playing and uh, yeah some people are saying well this does look like it's a lyric video that she is going to be putting out there on YouTube for big difference personally I wouldn't even have minded like a video a, tr a proper video to um, in a big difference but hey do let me know in the comment section you guys what you think about that uh, those visuals are really really giving you guys they are really giving and uh, it's pretty much cute okay um, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, I am going to be talking about Megan the Stallion. Now, while she did release a little bit of, I think it was a vlog, about how she felt when she uh, knew that she had to perform with Beyonce. And she gave a little background story about how they used to jam to Beyonce with her mother. And honestly speaking, in as much as I'm not pro-pro Megan like this... Um, I feel like it's a beautiful thing to watch you guys. I feel like it's a dream that has basically come true. And so do let me know in the comment section, you guys, do you think that crying? when you get invited to perform with Beyonce is overdoing it. I did see somebody, you guys, jokingly saying that, oh, well, she is crying more than how she was crying in the court case. And I'm just like, people can be so mean on Twitter, okay? The next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, I am going to be talking about the Transformer and Shakira, okay? It seems like she has finally, um, you know, decided to tap back into her roots. And um, I did see a lot of music critics, you guys, before telling her that, you know what, at this point she needs to go back you know to her roots and embrace her you know that other side of hers and um people were like oh my god we feel like that way people would respect her people would welcome her and i guess th those people were absolutely right you guys because if we're going to be honest her demand in as far as the music culture the rap culture is concerned it is not that much you guys her demand is not that great and um hopefully she will make the smart decision you guys and basically uh you know go to things that would make sense and that would actually sell but then again with the how bongos did i mean i could understand her still being worried about changing genres and things like that because let's be honest if she decided to if she ends up you know going to the latin music and stuff like that she's not beefing with anyone there there's not going to be sympathy no payola if she does decide to go that route because there's not going to be any Nicki minaj to cry for about so i don't know you guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section okay the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, Flo Mealy. Now, Flo has been showing Nicki Minaj massive live love, um, you know, lately. And some people were, my, were like, oh, my God, it's not, um, you know, genuine. It's not coming from a good place and things like that. It seems like, you guys, she might have just been a fan, um, you know, just like the rest of us growing up. Because, listen, she clearly was inspired, you guys, about this alter ego's, um, you know, situation because it is being reported you guys that she now has an alter ego and uh, the alter ego is going to be called Florence um, Million and um, well she said that she's the pop star she has aspects about her that 
that's uh, very girly and feminine. And I'm sure you've seen my Flo Millie uh, flip. That's a hairstyle, okay? So, yeah, do let me know what you think about that in the entire, um, in the entire, I mean, alter ego situation, you guys. Do you think that female rappers are basically following uh, Nicki Minaj's lead in as far as that? Now, I will say that, well, alter egos have always really uh, existed, but, like, Nicki is one of the few people who made them popular uh, in as far as rap is concerned. So let me know what you think about that, okay? The next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, some people are saying that, well, Lottery is getting, uh, you know, rappers that would have been passed on to her, uh, you know, by the alleged boyfriend. Because, listen, I recently spoke about how, Nick, uh, basically, how Nicki Minaj, um, you know, basically brought in relevance to this girl and i told you also you guys about her basically dropping a song it's a party with baby drill and you guys this artist baby drill also did a song with 21 savage and i do see where this person was coming from when this with this um you know entire situation okay let me know what you think about that you guys in the comment section now another story that i don't care much for it's Ari Fleischer versus uh jada uh, you guys Jada Wader. It seems like the two of them are shading each other left, right, and center, uh, with one basically saying that, oh, well, they don't want to be friends with Jada anymore. And uh, Jada basically posting an Instagram story, um, you know, of saying that she doesn't give three hoods about how bees feel and stuff like that. And honestly speaking, it's really... Um, weird to watch because i thought um you know they had settled their differences and things like that so when i see them going and bickering at each other like that i'm just like what is happening okay what exactly is happening so let me know you guys what you think about that um you know in the comment section are you team jada weda or are you team So let me know, you guys, what you think about that in the comment section. Are you Tim Ari or are you Tim Jada Wader? Now, thank you very much, you guys, for watching. And uh, thank you very much for making it this far. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I post. I hope, you guys, that this video is making sense because, listen, I mean, I was literally dozing. I was literally sleepy, yawning countless times. Times. but listen tea has to be spilled okay so thank you very much you guys once more and um until my next one see you